All right, now, the second thing I want to talk to you about as it relates to peripheral neuropathy is something that's very rarely ever tested. Many people don't even have an idea that this is actually involved, but it is. And this has to do with what are called autoimmune issues. Autoimmune means your body is attacking itself. For whatever reason, it's determined that certain parts of your body are dangerous. And so the body's trying to defend itself by killing it. It's kind of interesting and it's kind of sad, but when it happens, it's a big problem. Now, your body can attack your gut. It can cause digestive problems or what's called leaky gut syndrome. It can attack your thyroid, which would be called a Hashimoto syndrome. Another video on that one altogether. You need to know that. Many people who have peripheral neuropathy some are dealing with thyroid problems as well. Uh, it can attack your joints. This would be in the case of like a rheumatoid arthritis. And more importantly and crucial for our topic today is that autoimmune problems can actually attack the brain and the nerves. What does that mean? That means if you've got an autoimmune condition that's active in your body, it's causing damage to your nerves. And a peripheral neuropathy problem is a nerve problem. It's a brain problem. And we have to eliminate and identify everything that's going on that could potentially be affecting your condition. What are some other autoimmune conditions? Just so you know what's out there, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, thyroid would be Hashimoto's thyroiditis, fibromyalgia, lupus, chronic fatigue syndrome many times has been linked into that, celiac disease, Crohn's disease. There's a whole variety of ones out there that you can look up again on the internet. Punch up those items or punch up autoimmune conditions and you'll find a whole host of different things. The thing you need to realize though is that if you have an autoimmune condition working inside of your body, the problem now is with the immune system. It's not with the other symptoms that you have, the other issues. You have got to calm down the immune system first. Now we have ways of doing that. These are done through careful evaluation to identify where the breakdown is first. You see, it's not just enough to know that you have an autoimmune condition. We need to find out what part of the immune system is actually not doing its job. We can do that for, through proper testing. And then once we know what kind of testing and what results we have, we can actually make recommendations based on that lifestyle changes and some nutritional botanical products that can actually help to calm that thing down. But I'll tell you this, if you've got an autoimmune condition that's working in the background, that's part of the frustration that you're dealing with because nothing is going to seem to work if your body is attacking itself in the background. Thank you for listening today. Stay tight for more information than we have. We've got a, ver ver a variety of different videos and video clips that we're going to put out there for health issues. You're going to get this information. You need to know it. My name is Dr. John Erickson. You have a great day. Hope to see you in the future. Goodbye.